Hi everyone, so I hope you're doing well. Today is more of a story time video. And I know not everyone is going to like it, but I'll be diving a little bit deeper into MLMs and how it came about. Are they more in the southern states, more the conservative states, or are things changing a little bit? Now, you can see some of my other videos on this topic if you wish. There's also quite a few other YouTubers out there who do talk about this topic. Um, but let's have a look at this Reddit post. Everyone loves a bit of Reddit. So traditionally, the more religious households were more likely to have stay-at-home moms that maybe got involved in MLMs. Um, and there's a few theories out there, like are they really doing it for the money and they're just doing it for the companionship and to feel as though they're part of something. I don't really know. If you have any thoughts, then let me know. Um, but these days, if you, depending where you live, it might be people from all sorts of political, social, like this guy says, socioeconomic, racial, um, and genders as well. There's also quite a few um, TV shows that do cover this topic as well like this person says king of the hill but family guy do have a few episodes on it too so um but yeah there are definitely some deep connections here as well um for a long time as well they were more linked to latter-day saints and mormons and one of the reasons for this is that they do have people in this church quite a few skills that do work well with direct sales and being used to rejection when they're going out on missions and that would be one of them as well um yeah there is still a lot of mum shaming i feel for like um women that that do go out and and have jobs so that's another appeal maybe Um, yeah, and the exaggerations. Hmm. If you do research in Utah, it's actually known as the home of MLMs. They're a huge industry there. And yeah, long lines of family, friends. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it does seem to be that they're more based around um, the more more conservative areas. There is something also that I think it maybe takes it onto another level, but some of the actions you can see from my other videos are a little bit culty from MLMs, so... Um, there's a lot of group thing for one. It's like you have to follow what the top leaders say. So if you're the sort of person who likes to think for yourself, you might find that MLMs are probably not for you. Um, and I see that in the comments on one of my videos, actually. So, um, yeah, they always say that. It's not a pyramid scheme, it would be illegal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll try and show you some of the other ones that look a bit culty. Yeah, they're going for the group thing again. We win together. It's, well, if you look at the layout of the company the income disclosure statement it says it's very much not like that and when i come back with an argument they never reply back which makes me think um maybe they're just being told what to post or they know what they're saying is wrong 
and they never have any like actual facts as well a lot of the time um or they're vague about how much money they've earned from it I'll just give that a like. Or they say, yeah, you're anti-personal development. Um, or they say things which is just not true. Many companies use network marketing, for example, Amazon, Google. I don't think they do. They might use affiliate marketing. But say if you buy something from Amazon, they're not going to try and persuade you to work for Amazon and also try and get your friends to work for them. It's just not going to happen. So that's a more dark side. Um, and if you do your own research, there is actually some overlap between things that Jehovah's Witnesses do and things that some of these people in MLMs do, especially in terms of like shunning. And if you leave, then you can't be part of that group anymore. It's quite dark um psychological tactic that some of them use i'm not saying that all everyone in one of these mlms or everyone or every mlm does that but there's definitely that link there in that you are having to follow these rules what the people at the top say you have to think you're really encouraged to think in a certain way um so that everyone is, like they say, on the same page. Anyway, I'd be interested in knowing your thoughts about this topic. If you have any experience either with companies like this or with um, Jehovah's Witnesses, Latter-day Saints, then do let me know. It's always of interest for people in Europe as well as we don't have such a high... Um, conservative population and people um, like these... these um, Mormon and Jehovah's Witnesses aren't maybe so so big as they are in Utah. So it's always of interest to people on the other side of the pond as well. If you're American and live in, say, Utah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. But for now, have a great day. I'll be back soon with another video. Please do like and subscribe.